Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I have another fun fold card for you. I am featuring the Submarine Life bundle this week on my blog. It's a punch and stamp bundle. The punch is locked down. I always forget to show that. They punch down, or they lock down flat and then you can open them up. It's great for storage. This is a really fun stamp set. It's got 22 images in it. Um, and I have just had so much fun creating all these under the sea cards. Now, I saw a sample in the catalog where they used it to make a blimp. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have to do that. Just showing you another way to use your submarine in a non-traditional way. So this one says floating by just to say hi. And then when you open it up, there are some clouds there. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is color our uh, ribbon so that it has time to dry. Um, I am using that petal pink ribbon but we're using Flirty Flamingo for our card, so we can easily change the color of our ribbon with our Stampin' Blend. So I'm gonna take my dark uh, Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to color my ribbon just as much as I think I'm gonna need for a bow. I never know how much, but what you could do is tie the bow, cut it off, untie it, and then color it and tie it again. Um, now this is not going to hurt your ribbon. They will make it a little bit stiffer, um, but I kind of like that. I feel like it is easier to tie when it's stiff. Do you guys think that's enough? I think let's go, let's go a little bit more just in case. It's better to be, have too much for this than to have not enough. Okay. So we're going to let that dry and really it takes a minute. I mean, truly like not even, I mean, you could tie it right now. Your fingers will get a little inky, but it dries pretty fast. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to line up your uh, stamp, your, uh, what's this called, hello, we're calling it a blimp this time, your blimp and your propeller on your block so that you can stamp them and punch them at the same time, okay? You're gonna need a piece of scrap paper and take your punch and punch them out, okay? Now take your images your stamps and set them down in there. Now, the the punch is just a little bit bigger than your uh, stamps. So you wanna try to get it so that it's centered in there, okay? And then take your propeller. Uh oh, we don't wanna move things around. Set that in there. All right, now take your block and pick them up. Now, if you have a stamp positioning tool, this is a great way to use that because we're using two different colors. Um, but what I'm going to do is just use my post-it note. Okay. And I'm going to just post, I'm going to post that off. <laughs> that does not make sense. We're going to mask that off. And I'm going to do basic gray for my propeller. Okay. And then I'm going to take uh, Daftil Delight and carefully ink it so that I don't get my propeller inked, okay? And you can also do it like this. You can see it better. See how I can just see the, the uh, images and I'm stamping just or inking just the um, blimp. All right, so stamp it down here in the corner of your paper. I made a mess of my block. There we go. Okay, now let's see, did it line up? It sure did, look at that. There we go, you saved your paper and you got them both done, two at one time. All right, all right, now we're going to, we've got two pieces of balmy blue and we're gonna stamp after we put the clouds on, but I wanna show you how to make this fun cloud border. This is from our basic border dies, which I believe are retiring when the new catalog comes out. I use them constantly, so I'm sad to see them go. I've got a piece of basic white, and I'm gonna put the cloud die there across the top. I'm gonna try to get as much close to the top as I can. And we're gonna run that through. The measurements for all of these pieces will be on my PDF today, so make sure that you Hop over there to my blog and grab it. Now, I'm gonna do this on this edge, but I don't want it to be exactly the same, so I'm gonna kind of scoot it down like that. And my die has been used so much, it's starting to bend up. Whoops, let's, let's just bend it back a little bit. You can use your post-it tape here too if you need to. 
to hold it in place. There we go. All right, run that through. And let's see how we did. There we go. We've got a fun little line of clouds. So I'm going to take my dimensionals, which are somewhere over here, and we're going to put this right in the middle of our balmy blue piece. Okay. I think I might have made it a little bit longer than it needed to be. So we'll just trim that off. I tend to make, I tend to cut things a little bit longer because if I cut them too short, then we have to start all over. All right, take your, your submarine slash um, blimp. We're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna take my propeller. I'm going to get a glue dot, a mini glue dot, and I'm going to put the glue dot right on the front there like that. And I'm going to stick it in right there. Okay, now we're going to do the little flag on the top. Unfortunately, the flag has to be fussy cut. I'm sorry. I know. If you don't want to do the flag, you can leave it out, of course. So let me get my masking out of there. I'm going to stamp it in Flirty Flamingo. And then I'm going to get my paper snips. Paper snips are the best for fussy cutting. And I'm just going to stay right on the outside of it. Okay. Really what you should do is cut all this away. It makes it so much easier when you don't have that in the way. All right. Let's cut a straight line there. And then we're gonna go around like that. Okay, so now, mini dimensional, if I can find them. We're gonna put this on with a mini dimensional. Get that backing off, like that. I'm gonna put that up here. I mean, come on. So cute. All right, now for our birds. Let's do some birds. Like that. And we have this um, little, um, I'm trying to think, what's it from? Thoughtful Expressions or Everyday Details? I can't remember what the die set is. I'll have it on the supply list, I promise. Um, but it's a basic white. It's the smallest rectangle in the set floating by just to say hi in Flirty Flamingo, of course. A couple of dimensionals down here. And we'll put that right there. Okay, so now let's start putting our whole card together. You're gonna need a card base. This is our blueberry bushel and I have, it's a regular card base that was four and a fourth by 11. I scored it at five and a half and cut it off at two and three fourths. I have some of our uh, glorious gingham designer series paper. We're going to use both sides of it. If I can find my adhesive, it's probably right here. I always do that. Can't find it and it's just sitting right there next to me. Now you can do this card with a flap at the top but we're gonna do it like this, or the flap at the bottom. I designed this one to have the flap at the bottom, but I just want you to know that if you wanted to turn it, it would totally work that way too. All right, now we'll put a bigger piece back here, like that. And now we have our little mini card, okay? Fold it in half, it's three by six. Um, I'm sorry, three by eight, scored at four. And I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. And I want to center that right in the middle of my card. All right, now let's look at the inside. We'll work our way from the inside out. We're going to take that balmy blue, that second balmy blue, balmy blue piece. It's the same size as the one on the front. We'll put that right there. I have used another retiring uh, product, our Give It A Whirl dies, which if you have been around Pink Buckaroo for a while, you know that these are my very favorite dies. I'm devastated that they are retiring. They have stitched hearts, stitched clouds, and stitched circles, I mean stars, so they are the best. 
So get them before they're gone if you don't have them yet. All right, we're gonna put these on with dimensionals kind of coming out from the sides. Let's get our little bird again. And where is my ink? I almost made them basic gray birds, but we want blue birds. Okay, we'll put one down here. All right, so now you're gonna close this up and this is gonna go right on top. Let's move this one out of the way. And we're gonna put this right here. And now let's go back to the very beginning and our, our ribbon, can you see how it's kind of stiffer? We're gonna tie our ribbon and it looks like we have plenty, didn't we? I, I colored a little bit too much, that's okay. All right, and I'm gonna cut these at an angle. You can use your blends to color any of your ribbons that are light colored. I do it all the time. It really opens up the possibilities when you ha are limited on ribbon colors. All right, and we'll put that right there and there you go you guys all right make sure you click the link here on youtube go over to my blog visit that post it's got a free pdf with measurement supplies and two other uh, submarine life projects for you all right you guys have fun happy stamping bye